Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots. And we're back here. Look, the legendary Forrest Ackerman. Yeah, you. Mr. Ackerman. Hey, you're kind of like a dapper guy there that's, dressed up. That's huh? right. Yeah, look, hey, I'm sorry for all these weirdos around here, man. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Have you ever thought in your wildest uh, stories of science fiction that all these people would be assembled here at one time? No. Beyond belief. Isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Ackerman, go ahead. Remember the last time you were here, tell us the story how you got into uh, science fiction when you were a little kid and all that. Oh, tell that. Yeah. I, like, I love that story. Well, when I was nine years old, I was standing in front of a newsstand in uh, October 1926, and the science fiction magazine jumped off the newsstand, grabbed hold of me, and I think your viewers are, are too young to know, but in those days, magazines spoke. And that one said, take me home, little boy, you will love me. And one day in the unimaginably distant year of 2000, and we'll find yourself on something called television, a program with a night shadow. Oh. And it all the, the decline of civilization right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, I, I'm honored for you to come again, especially after the first time, because I didn't think you'd be back. But, uh... <laughs> hey, where'd you get that jacket at? That's a fancy there jacket there, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm going from uh, here to do my 95th cameo in a movie. I will play the caretaker, or perhaps I should say the scare taker, <laughs> of, a, uh, of a midnight uh, museum of uh, monsterific wax figures. There's going to be Frankenstein wow. there and Dracula and... Only drawback is I have to act with Kitten Natividad. Oh. My goodness. Somebody uh, has to do it. You I poor guy. Yeah. You poor guy. I feel so sorry for you. Hey, why don't you name me, uh, give me five of your favorite movies. Or oh, are you going to say something else? I see your eyes lit up. Well, <laughs> no, five favorite Give movies. me your five of your favorite all-time movies. Or, uh, I know you got well, more. But. Well, there's uh, Lon Chaney as the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. And uh, Boris Karloff in the original Frankenstein, yeah. and Bela Lugosi as Dracula, yeah. and uh, then there was The Exorcist. Ooh, that's yeah. scary. <laughs> that was real scary. It's kind of like uh, today's show. <laughs> I think we need an exorcist on this show today. Well, you know, Mr. Ackerman, like I said, it's a pleasure having you here. What I wanted to do is a little token of our appreciation for Ooh. you coming here. Ooh. I wanted to give you something from our Kung Fu Theater plaque. Since uh, you had the nerve to come back and the, the courage. <laughs> come on this stupid little silly show we do here in, in L.A. A plaque? It got you a plaque. It says, an appreciation for all the minds that you have touched on this world and others. Ooh. Presented to Forrest J. Ackerman. For E. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming over here and putting up with this stupidity. I, I, I thought the only plaque I had was on my teeth. <laughs> no, that's to say I'm the Armenian comedian. <laughs> and also, hey, where's Raven and Bobzilla? Come over and do a little dance for Foyce. It's, it's going to be, she's got to get going anyway. So do a little, Raven! Where's Raven at? I can't do on your TV show. Oh, well, take it easy. Hey, put some music on if you have it in the back, Albert, for me. Who else is going to dance with me? Yeah, I know you got a trip. You shut up, David, before I go over there. <laughs> Can I is that music? There we go! Thank you, Mr. Ackerman, for coming on the show today. There's your other gifts right here. All right. Don't kill him, Bobzilla. All right, that's it. Go back to tape.